What is FTP? Well, FTP is short for File Transfer Protocol. And as we can see here, there's a whole lot of information here about File Transfer Protocol. Now, if you're familiar with working on the internet at all, you're more than likely familiar with a different protocol, and that's the HTTP. But we're talking about File Transfer Protocol in this case. And just kind of scrolling through this, there's a lot of information in here, and I got to tell you, 99% of it, most of us will never, ever need to know. Look at it like this. FTP is like a bridge between your computer and your website on the Internet. Now, on one side of that bridge is the server where your website is. The other end of that bridge is your computer, or what's also called the client side of that bridge. Now, there are lots of programs or software that can be used to transfer the files across that bridge. Now, some of those programs or software are free and some are not. But you really need not look any further than your own Internet browser, you know, like Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, or Firefox, to kind of test out this FTP software. Sticking with this bridge analogy, the browser method is just a one-way bridge. In other words, in most cases, you can connect to the server, but can only download from the server to your computer. You cannot upload from your computer to the server. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm in the Chrome browser right now, and let me toss in a website here that, by the way, I do not own, because for you to really have true access, that two-way traffic that I'm talking about, where you can upload and download to the server, you have to own or have permissions to that server. And I'm going to be demonstrating this using, in the first case, the Adobe website. You know, the fine folks that bring us Photoshop and Adobe Acrobat and all that stuff. Just type in FTP colon slash slash Adobe.com, or as in this case, I also put that FTP.Adobe.com. Sometimes you need the FTP in there, sometimes you don't. But to use your browser, you have to have the prefix FTP colon slash slash. And as you can see, I'm in the index of the adobe.com website, and I have access to these files here, but I do not have access to upload to their server. Now, in order for you to own and have that two-way connection, meaning being able to both upload and download from the server, you're going to need a username and password to that server. That username and password is sent to you when you purchase a web hosting package from a company like HostGator, HostMonster, Lunar Pages, or Bluehost, or, or actually there are a ton of hosting companies to choose from, but hey, that is a video for another day. Another FTP tool is your own computer's Windows Explorer. That is, of course, if you're using a Windows operating system and you have already purchased that web hosting package I mentioned and received your username and password. Just open up your Windows Explorer and in the address bar, here, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Right up here in the address bar, you just want to type in FTP colon slash slash so far, that's the same as it was when we used the browser tool. But now you want to type in the username that you have received after purchasing your web hosting package, the at symbol, and then the domain.com, kind of like this. And again, this is the username that you received from your web hosting package, and then the domain name. And then you simply hit the enter key or that arrow, and it will then open up a box asking for your username and password. Again, that was sent to you from the web hosting company. Then you have that two-way access where you can both download from your server and upload to your server just by simply dragging a file from your computer into this area here. It will automatically be uploaded to your server or you can drag the file from this area here which is your server online and drag it to wherever you want it to be downloaded to on your computer. Now, using your Windows Explorer as an FTP tool has one major downside, and this is the deal breaker for me. It is as slow as cold molasses. And if you aren't familiar with how slow cold molasses is, just take it from me, it's super duper slow. Now, the more popular FTP tools or client programs, as they're also called, are like Smart FTP or Acute FTP or the very powerful and free FileZilla. But remember, no matter which FTP tool you decide to use, you're going to need to purchase web hosting and you're going to need a domain name. Sometimes those domain names come with the web hosting package you purchased. You just got to do a little bit of shopping around. But as I mentioned earlier, that's a video for another day. This is going to bring us to an end to this video on what is FTP. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.